In this video, we're going to be learning how to set geofences on the LoJet Go app. So you can see that I have opened the LoJet Go app and I'm in the Tampa Bay area. And in this example, what I want to do is be alerted whenever my vehicle enters or exits the Tampa Bay International Airport. So I'm going to zoom in on that and then I'm going to tap and hold and you're going to see a pin come up and then a square box that goes around it. That is the default one square mile geofence location. On the bottom, you can see that there's a slider where I can resize it, where I can go all the way down to half a square mile to five square miles at the largest. So I'm gonna just scale it down a little bit. Let's just say it's 1.4, it covers the um, all the parking decks that are at the Tampa Bay International Airport. So I'm good with this. So I'm gonna to go to create geofence and it comes up automatically as the Tampa Bay International Airport. I'm gonna click the floppy disk icon on the right, and the geofence is successfully created now. So I can zoom out and you can see it's, it's gonna be visible on your map, and you're gonna be able to rename it or delete it if you're interested, or you can even resize it. Um, but in this case, you are now going to be receiving alerts when a vehicle enters or exits this area of interest, which is the uh, Tampa International Airport. And whenever a vehicle enters or exits, I, I found that it's usually between, you know, 30 seconds to maybe three minutes time delay from, from the moment that you enter or exit, but you will get those push notifications on your LoJack Go app if you do select to receive them. Anyways, I hope this video helps and we'll see you in the next instructional video.